Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jessica Moore. Demonstrators who took over the lawn of Columbia University put their tents back up today. Our cameras went inside the school for a first-hand look at the encampment. Today, the university said it is offering a remote option as some Jewish students raise concerns about safety ahead of Passover. CBS 2's Shosh Bedrosian is live in Morningside Heights with the latest on campus. Shosh. Yeah, Jessica, well, the protesting outside of the school here has officially stopped. Today marks day five since students began their encampment on the quad here at Columbia. But this all started when the president of the school testified on Capitol Hill regarding anti-Semitic incidents that have happened on this campus. As for the Jewish community with Passover coming up, they say no matter what the climate looks like on this campus, they will be celebrating just the same way as they do every year. On Monday evening, Jewish students at Columbia will be celebrating the first night of Passover. To make it feel more like home in a time where they say there's darkness, students and Rabbi Drizin at the university's Chabad are bringing matzah to campus to pass out, all while tuning out the sounds around them. Sometimes it takes, at moments, just the individual walking with faith and confidence through whatever is in their way, in their face. Eventually, it splits open and we make it through. For the last five days, students on campus have been holding a pro-Palestinian encampment on the quad. The university tells us in a statement, students do not have permission to set up tents on the lawn, and those who are in violation of long-standing university policy are subject to disciplinary action. Members of the Jewish community say they've been surrounded by anti-Semitic rhetoric as non-affiliated protests have taken over the streets outside the gates, too. Rabbi Drizin says they've now hired private security to walk students to and from the Chabad house from their dorms for the Passover seders. In no reality is it okay that a Jewish kid shouldn't be okay to walk out of their dorm room to the Chabad house. Columbia University has now issued guidance to allow the option of remote learning. On Sunday, the encampments went back up after being previously dismantled and more than 100 people arrested. A graduate student on the lawn told us they're protesting for Columbia to disinvest in Israel. It's very disturbing to me to see the way that Columbia called the cops on its own students and they're putting their professions on the line, their physical well-being, their mental well-being on the line in support of a cause that they know is just, which is Palestinian freedom in our lifetime. Passover is a holiday commemorating liberation for the Jews. The Jewish community on campus is hopeful they'll be able to celebrate freely this Passover with more spirit than ever before. Governor Kathy Hochul tweeted today, the First Amendment protects the right to a protest, uh, but students also have the right to learn in a harassment and violent free environment. She also said, quote, uh, threatening Jewish students with violence of glorifying the terror of October 7th is anti-Semitism. We are on Morningside Heights uh, tonight. I'm Shosh Pedrosian, CBS 2 News. Shosh, thank you. Today, a rabbi associated with Columbia says he messaged Jewish students recommending they return home as soon as possible for their safety amid the protests. But later, the campus Halil issued a statement saying they do not believe students should leave campus. From the city to the White House, public officials are speaking out about the ongoing protests. In a statement, Mayor Adams said in part, quote, I am horrified and disgusted with the anti-Semitism being spewed at and around the Columbia University campus campus, adding, I do, however, want to be abundantly clear. Columbia University is a private institution on private property, which means the NYPD cannot have a presence on campus unless specifically requested by senior university officials. The White House even released a statement saying in part, quote, calls for violence and physical intimidation targeting Jewish students and the Jewish community are blatantly anti-Semitic, unconscionable and dangerous. We condemn these statements in the strongest terms. A group of students at the new school has now set up tents inside the Union Square campus. About a dozen students took over the school's university center on West 12th Street today. They've set up tents and made signs reading Gaza Solidarity Encampment. In an online post, the group says it is standing in solidarity with protesters at Columbia. The new school said its president will meet with student groups tomorrow to consider their requests for financial transparency of the university's investments.